Welcome to Electro Online and now let's do an example where we know the parabola is going to open sideways this way or this way and the reason why we know that is because it's the y term that's squared not the x that's squared. So how do we find that? Well we're going to put it into the standard form. The standard form is going to uh, look like something like this where we have y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4p times x minus h. So that's the standard form we want it in. That way we can find h, k, and p and grab the parabola. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's uh, keep this on the left side, move everything else to the right side. So we end up with y squared uh, minus 4y equals x minus h. So we move it across the equal sign. The signs change. Now here, to make that a a perfect square we take half the coefficient here and square that so half of minus 4 is minus 2 squared you get plus 4 so we're going to add plus 4 and plus 4 over here so you have y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals x minus 8 plus 4 simplifying that then at least here we can factor this this will be equal to y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to x minus 4 and then realizing that we want to write it in this form right here, so we can go ahead and do that. We have the quantity y minus 2 squared is equal to 4 times 1 fourth times x minus 4. So you can see that 4 times 1 fourth gives me 1 again, leaves me with x minus 4, but we want to write it in, in this form right here. So we can clearly tell that p in this case is equal to 1 quarter. We know that k is equal to 2 and h is equal to 4. So that means h equals to 4, k is equal to 2, and p is equal to 1 quarter. We're now ready to go ahead and grab this parabola. So we have a little bit of space right here. Let's put it right here. First we want to find the vertex. The vertex can be found at hk, right? So the vertex is equal to the coordinates hk. In this case it's equal to 4 and 2. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So there's my vertex right there. So the vertex at 4 and 2. All right, now we want to find the focus. Now the focus is going to be equal to h plus p and k. So that would be h plus p. h is 4, p is a quarter. That would be 4 and a quarter, and k is still 2. That means... The focus is just to the right, by one quarter of a unit, to the right, right there. There's my focus, and my focus is at four and a quarter and two. There we go. And now we want to find the directrix. To find the directrix, and let me just put it right over here, can be found by taking x is equal to, that would be x equal to h minus p. In this case, h was equal to four minus a quarter, which is equal to 3 and 3 quarters. That means the directrix will just be to the, the right of the, the left of the vertex. There's the vertex, there's the focus, and so the directrix will be just to the left of that, like this. And the equation x equals 3 and 3 quarters, like that. Okay, so now you can see that the parabola will open to the right. There's my vertex, so the parabola will open like this, and like this, again in such a way that every point on the parabola will be equidistant away from the focus as it will be from the directrix. And that's how we graph a parabola that opens sideways instead of up or down. And that's how we do that.